Hello, my fellow guardians. This is Maluncha, and welcome back to Destiny 2. In the season uh, seasonal star chart, we find uh, for a while now a couple of these beacons. Now, if we quickly exit, they're basically small treasure beacons uh, from Cosmic Flotsam. So we found them in space, I presume. And we got three tiers. So we got a small treasure one, a medium treasure one, and we got a large treasure one. Now, I finally made it to rank 16 where I can unlock the large treasure beacon. So for this episode, we are going to take a look at where they actually lead us to. So, yeah, let's uh, exit for a while so we can actually see the quest again. You find a hidden switch on the side of a treasure beacon. You press it and from a hidden compartment slides a piece of parchment covered in messy handwriting. Okay. Cryptic Quatrains 1. So we got four steps out of this one. My story begins as I hide from the crews. They search and will find me unless I hide soon. I'll wait on the nightfall, the cleverest ruse, and force them to hunt by the light of the moon. A strange poem, you suspect some of the words may have hidden meanings. This is kind of new. We you don't usually have yellow words in these uh, in these quests. Like uh, if there's like riddles that we need to solve. But I think that the developers had something like there's a lot of people that kind of don't really see the words that we want to use to actually give them clues. So we're going to make them yellow. So... The yellow words are begin search on moon. Yeah, that's pretty obvious, right? So begin search on moon. And then they are talking about uh, hiding from crews. Uh, they're hiding. Uh, they're talking about a nightfall, the cleverest ruse. So we're going to need to do a nightfall as well. And it is for quest steps. So I'm now I'm not really sure if the entire quests is actually like these four lines and every line actually points to a different so if i go by my train of thought the third line i wait on the nightfall the cleverest ruse then the third quest will be that we need to do a nightfall and then the force and force them to hunt by the light of the moon so the last step to actually find the quest is gonna be on the moon but if we follow the entire story we get now it says begin search on moon so i guess we'll pick this one up and start our quest our search on the moon right okay so the quests go to the moon was actually the first step like holy crap this was wait i was like let's take let's check that again that we're talking about crew and something else maybe there was something i was missing and it's the quests have actually changed so behind in the harbor their sorrow was real so sorrow harbor they lost what had taken my heart filled with fear. From cruel revelation, the dawn would reveal a chest broken and barren and nowhere near. So, Sorrow Harbor lost the revelation, a chest. Yeah, I think that's pretty obvious what we're gonna need to do, right? Holy crap, this is. Yeah, this is way easier than the quest. So, Sorrow Harbor, and we got K1 Revelation. And it's a lost sector that has a chest at the end. So, yeah, let's uh, fast travel here and instantly go into the right one. Yeah, this was this. These these are way easier now. Like, hold it. actually, they're a little bit too easy now that the words are yellowish. It's it. Uh, I used to find it really exciting when I actually like. There were times when I when I was spending like an hour to actually look for what they were meaning on on one of these quests, but now they're they're they're, they're too easy. And let's instantly move them there. There we go. And I do have to say I'm getting a fan of this weapon. Holy crap! It just does so much damage. Not really a fan of slow weapons in this game, like slow automatics. But holy crap, the scorch that this one gives is kind of insane. Like I blow one up and everybody starts ticking for 500 damage. Like just look at the scorch and I'm even using void right now. Can you imagine doing this in solar abilities? 
Not really a fan of solar though. Simply because I don't really like the uh, the ult. Well, the daggers are fun, but golden gun, I really don't like golden gun. But this is... This is just incredible. Like, holy crap. So, right now, I'm playing with the Emmet AR2, kind of leveling it up. And I took Surplus and then uh, Incandestant, the actual uh, higher perks, the enhanced traits. And then defeating a target spreads a long-lasting scorch to those nearby. The AoE is actually, like, the, the area of effect that it scorches is actually really, really good. Like, really, really good. And the uh, reload was kind of slow, but then actually taking, like, surplus. And if you don't really use any, well, too much abilities and you got all three of them, like, the reload is, like, a second and a half. Like, maybe not even that. Like, it's really, really fast. And I'm starting, uh, starting to think that I need to level up my weapons more, because I've never... Except for... I think that's the only one I kind of leveled up at the start, when, when weapon crafting was a thing, was Osteostriga. And even then, I forgot to implement its catalyst until, like, last week. Like, holy crap. So, collect the loot. Yeah, look at that. Cryptic Quatrains won my eyes towards the cosmos. I'll let out. Yeah, let's uh, just go to the quest. It's gonna vanish before I can read it completely. My eyes towards the cosmos. I let out the sock. I beg to the gods and the fallen alike. But bullet or saber, I'd fall to the mob. But please let me deal them in a palpable strike. <laughs> yeah, okay. This, this is this is really this is this is too easy, guys. This is really too easy. So, eyes towards the cosmos, we're gonna need to go to the Cosmodrone. Uh, back to the gods uh, and the fallen alike. So, fallen uh, by bullet or saber. So, fallen saber is a strike. But please let me deal with the palpable strike. So, we're gonna need to go to the Cosmodrone and do the fallen saber strike. It became too easy. Honestly, like, it's, it's, it's laughable how easy it is. We do get... Ah, complete the quest to acquire this reward. Buried treasure. Okay, so that's uh, step four out of four, I presume. So, yeah, destinations, Cosmo Drone. And then, where is Devil's Lair? Fallen Saber. Fallen Saber. Let's, uh, let's launch and let's complete this strike. There we go, quest complete. Now, I do wonder do if Russian? this Thank will work me. on Tip Nightfall as well, as this uh, strike is the Nightfall this for this week. Not even the debris. I'm sending a fire team to seal the complex. This cannot happen again. It will not. Thanks to you, Guardian, the dream of the city lives on, without fear of weapons in the sky. Okay, you're you're welcome. All right, let's uh, leave this and let's. Yeah, I I I, I love this weapon. I really. And now I do wonder, like, if this crafted weapon can be this good. I really wonder what you can build with the other weapons as well. There's probably gonna be crap weapons, uh, crap weapons, crap, crap weapons among them. But holy crap, this is, I think this is my new favorite AR. Like, holy crap, it is really, really good. Okay, so Cryptic Quatrain, step four out of four, the winds of Europa, yeah, pretty easy. We're frozen and white, so we need to go to Europa. And even the tides have been stopped by the colds. Even tides. Even tide is, I think, a location on Europa. The hooks would swing empty, and I'd not die tonight. By cranes, they're searching, but I'd keep me gold. Hook cranes search. Hmm. So Europa and even tides. That is pretty straightforward. So let's go to Europa. And we got even tides that is on top here. And then it was talking about bunker. Even tides and it was talking about let's go to even tides first. And then uh, see where we go from there. So the hook would swing empty and not I'd not die tonight by crane's TV search. So we need to look for a crane with a hook on it that is empty. And we need to search there. Well, we got like a, a crane over here. With an, but it's not empty because it has a platform on it. So I'm going to run around a little bit and check out 
where I can find an empty hook. Because there's, there's an empty hook here. Right in front of us. It can't be that easy, right? You go back, so... So this is an empty hook in even type. Who would know? Searching. Yeah, don't see. Oh, oh, look at that. <laughs> okay, so it is this easy. Dig up treasure. There we go. And we got map fragments, crude cipher fragments. I'm really not sure what that is. And a cloak or a cape. 174 oh yeah, i'm at 174 so it ge does give the uh gear that's on your your level this is actually pretty good i can uh and do this to the third cape i have yeah carrying three capes uh, basically one uh for each subclass i still need my uh stasis subclass one just in case you need to switch out, right? But yeah, that's how easy it is, guys. I'm gonna sit my ass down here and end this episode here. We got two more treasure, che treasure chests to locate. So let's see how easy those quests are in the next episode. If you want to see more of my quest progression here in Destiny 2 or any other game I might play on my channel. Ooh, it became dark all of a sudden. Just hit that subscribe button. It would always help out a lot. I do hope you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.